I'll get you going and then Okay. Ready? Yeah, we are ready. Ready, Freddy. Good afternoon, class. Hey. Um is it live or is it um this is Zoom? It's oh, being okay. recorded now. So it's recording? Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right, I'll just start then. Um so this is the hair pipe, which is just these little beads, um, the line beads, and they're made with bone. So I got a couple different things here that I've made. Uh, this is a men's breastplate. Um, so this is, it's got these longer ones that are bone. And then it's got these smaller ones. These are um, buffalo horn. So those are black and it's got brass and it's got these, these things come pre-punched. So um, the only thing is like Jen has them here but they're not pre-punched. <laughs> so that's gonna be hard to do. So if you can find them pre-punched, it's good. Um, <clears throat> the only thing with it is these are, they come pre-punched. Um, but they're, that's the, that's as far as they, as far apart as they are, that's what they are. So if you're working with like something like these, these are really skinny. So these things are really, really tiny. So you can, you can see the, the size compared to those ones. Um, so to make like earrings or something, if you put those on these, it's gonna be spaced out really far and it's just gonna look not as nice to, for my preference not flush yeah so and then um i had some too for this is my husband's choker that i made and um i didn't want to use those two because i didn't want them spaced out that far so i just used a thicker white leather and then i punched my own holes in there um so there's a different little different type of difference yeah and then um, another little trick, um, so when you order these ones, these ones are ultra thin. Um, as you can see, they're pretty white. They're very white because they're, you know, they're made out of bone. So one of the things like, I don't, um, when I'm making something like a breastplate or a choker, I like them to be aged looking. So I, um, the ones that like that I'm working with, I soak them in um, some coffee. Coffee grounds? Um, no, like strongly made coffee. Like the liquid. Four scoops? Uh, I don't know how much it was, but it was strong. It was like oil. Um, so I just had that, just a cup of strong coffee and I poured the ones that I wanted to work with and I, I just dumped them in there. And I think these ones sat, these ones here, sat for about maybe 45 minutes. Wow, okay. Um, so you can see the difference. Those are the same exact, came out of the same exact package. Um, and you can see how much darker and how much aged, more aged they look. Um, so that's just my preference when making something like this. Um, for something like earrings or like that, I would probably just leave them white um, or like a necklace or just something. I, I would probably prefer them to just be white. So I would just leave them. But if you want to make them look aged, you can soak them in strong coffee. Um, these ones were also soaked as you can tell um, on both of these. And they look, they look pretty cool. It just makes them look older, I guess. Older. So it's not just perfectly white. Um, so, and then here I'm just making a tiny little men's breastplate. So, <laughs> so it's, um, so I wanted to use my own leather. And so I just cut out strips um, and I just measured little dots on there, as you can see. Mm -hmm. And then I just used an awl to um, poke holes. So all these holes are poked in there. 
Um, I got the sinew and, you know, sinew is really thick, but you can peel it apart. So I just peeled um, these strands all apart for what I needed. So that's, those are the strands and I'm going to use a needle. Um, one of the things with these little, these, the bone ones, um, they're not completely uniform in size. So some of them are like a little bit bigger or smaller or fatter or skinnier. So one of the things you're gonna wanna watch or do is like um, kind of measure them out first. Set them out? Yeah, and just put them in a straight row and then you can pick out the ones that are like too long or too short or whatever and just go with you ones. You can tell. Yeah, so um. I have mine separated here. And then I also have like two different sizes. So some of them are um, the shorter ones and the shorter ones are really fat. And then the, these longer ones are real skinny. Um, but I just have the, the shorter fat ones in the middle. And then I have the longer ones on the sides. And then I just have them separated out um, here. So that it's the long, short, long. Cause that's how I'm doing them on here. And then you're just want, gonna wanna go through your little area. And then one of the things with these, um, right away I got one. One of the things is like, sometimes those holes don't go all the way through. If you can, can you see that good? But this needle is not going all the way through cause it's stuck in the middle. I don't know what, I think when they, um, when they drill the holes, they must go one one side and then the other side. So oh. sometimes they don't meet up. And so sometimes there's like a little thing right in the middle. So um, and you can't push it through. Oh, sometimes you can and sometimes you can't. So this one I was able to push through, which is awesome. So and then that too, you're gonna want to make sure you kind of have some extra, especially if you're gonna um change the color of them, like how I did with these. I made extra of each of them so that I or I dyed extra ones so that I would have um, enough. And when you did your spacing, um, how far did you go apart? I don't know how far it was exactly. Um, I just eyeballed it. But what I did was like, I kind of spaced my, um, like I spaced my, these things out about as far as I wanted them. And then just kind of went off that. And then just put it beside it and then just kind of measured there. Oh, okay. so. I'm going to just cut that off because I did double it. And that's just to reinforce it. Yeah, so there was that bottom one that I just did. And then you just keep doing that um, <clears throat> until you're done. Um, I've been with these little, with the breastplates, I'll do um, two of them, like two rows. And then I on the ends, I tie the rows together. So I'll show you what I mean. So I did those two. Here they are, the, those are the ends. And I'm just gonna tie them together. 
on the end there. And take these ones. Pull them tight, but not too tight. If you pull too tight, then it'll like wrinkle your leather, especially if you're working with soft leather. Um, if you're working with like these, you can pull them tight. It's fine. Two more little rows on there, and I got one, two, three, four, five more to go. So it's not gonna, it's really not gonna take too long. I guess most of the time, um, like what takes the longest is um, getting it, getting all your stuff ready. Um, so a lot of this I got ready at home. So the, um, the little leather strips I cut at home and measured them out. I dyed the, the bones um, or soaked them in the coffee, separated them. That all took, that probably took me all together, maybe like an hour, hour and a half or so to do, to get everything set up and situated. So now this is just like, I guess the fun part of, of uh, making. And just like if you're doing um, if you're doing uh, hair ties, um, this is also how you would probably, you know, I mean not probably, this is also how you would do it, make it in rolls like that though. Um, and you could do, I would, with these, with how big these are, I'd probably do like, maybe like eight, seven or eight across and just keep making them till they're as, as uh, tall as you want it. But this, like I said, this is just gonna be a little breastplate. So it's gonna be sideways like this. Oh, and BT dubs. I, everybody in here has a face mask on except me. That's just so that you guys can um, see my face or so it's easier for me to explain things to you. We're being safe. And then um, with this, when I finish up with it, um, I have more leather at home. I'll make some more little strips, unless I get really far with it tonight. Um, and we have one student in here. Um, so if she's still working on her stuff, then I might just do it here and use the strips that are already cut, which would be great and easy, fast. And then I would just do something like this. Like how this thing, um, I just did the same thing where I tied it on the end and then um, I tied the, I just cut little strips of leather and I tied them on there. So that's how the ends are on that. That's just how I, how I um, did it. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, it was, I, I don't know how it will look with this, but um, with that, it was, the sinew is white. So it might, it might look cool, it might not, I'm not sure yet. So you're putting fringe on the end of those two? Yeah, I'll put little fringes on the oh, end of those. Oh, just cute. Oh, God. I know. You got to get his pictures taken. I know. I know. As soon as he's born, I'll put those on him, those little moccasins and that little breastplate. <laughs> Oh, oh my! Look at this cute. Mm -hmm. and welcome to you. Here's a got pictures of him and um, our ultrasound. He's already all chubby. Yeah. Oh. Healthy little guy. Yeah. Oh. Uh, this is one of those ones where it won't go through. It won't go through. So. 
good thing. Like I said, I have some extra ones here. I'm just learning that's about the same size. Mm -hmm. Okay. My glove is grounded. We'll G Arab is just selling for Christmas. Are they? Yeah. I go through Instagram every day and I'm just like, oh, I need those. But I'm getting in some drawing. <laughs> I know. Like I need to be doing that. But... How come people keep saying raffle with a W? What's up with that? I'm not too sure. Mm. I think it's a policy where it can get banned. Mm. That's what I was thinking. I was wondering if that's what it was, but man, that was annoying. I was like, just spell it regular. <laughs> and then I was like, I wonder if they have to do that if they're getting in trouble. I think so. Because mm. it's considered gambling. Yeah. Oh. I think a lot of them got it reported for it too already. Truly? Yeah. There were some people going hardcore with their raffles there for a while. Mm -hmm. I won one. Did you? Yes, I won um, one of Kelsey Munchler's um, quilled earrings with the beadwork. Oh, oh, it was really work. pretty. I'm just like, yay. Excited. Yes. I was just, I was like, oh my God. Were you like, I never win anything? Exactly. Mm -hmm. I did. Like I never win anything. Oh my gosh. I just want to win something. <laughs> then when I won, I was like, I wore it one day and I don't know how many people were like, whenever you want to sell that, let me know. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> no. Never. Never. How many have you made of these so far? Of the what? Of, I don't know what this is called. What are we doing? Oh, the making? Gee. Um, I don't know, probably a lot. 
a lot in my lifetime. I always did my own um, breastplates after I became an adult. I want to make a breastplate. Yeah, they're not, they're, like once you get the hang of doing like these, uh -huh. it's easy. It's just the time that it takes, you know? Yeah, I want to make a breastplate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For some women. <laughs> me. Yeah, they don't, they're not, um, they're not hard. It's just, it's time consuming, I guess. Yeah, so like, see now that you're doing these, then you could do like dentalium. Yeah. If you have some, um, you could do like men's breastplates, women's breastplates, chokers, um, necklaces, yeah. hair ties, you know, whatever you, whatever you can think of, I guess, pretty much. Like a, um, have we done a cake? Oh, yeah. Yes. I would love to have that as a class, but man, the tone is really hard to get. Yeah, it's really extreme. And it's not exactly cheap either. Nope. Yeah, yeah I've done like maybe three. Three capes? Mm -hmm. How long did they take you? Were they time consuming? Um, the big, like full grown one took me like two weeks just working on it. Like, Consistently, consistently. Yeah. like after work. And then I made one for Marley that one was smaller. <coughs> and it took, I don't know, a couple of days. And then I made a small one that was just like from shoulder to shoulder instead of down here. Uh -huh. or from shoulder to shoulder. Oh, kind of like a small There's only like, like two a or three. Or whatever. Yeah. I think there's only like two or three rolls on that. That didn't take very long either. And that days. too is just making sure your dentalium is right size, same mm. size. Yeah. What is it? Those, whatever is there is there. There's some right here. I don't know if that's the same kind. And then, if not, might be one of those bags over there. Because okay. I ordered more of those, but I ordered like thousand something. Because okay. I figure we could use them for hair ties, we could use them for breast part, we could use them for oh, a lot of anything, you know? Yeah. yeah. That's about the size I'm going to have it be. So I'm going to put some little stuff hanging off the bottom, but um, that's about how big it's going to be. And so I'm going to cut these extra pieces off.
Yes. I bought some balloons. Did you? Mm -hmm. Do you know how to work those? Yeah. Are they easy? They're easy, but they're tedious. Yeah. Tedious and annoying. Not for somebody who doesn't have patience like me. <laughs> and no patience. Yeah, and then it's like annoying because you gotta make sure your beads are all the same, same. size. Well, since we didn't have anybody, get on. Can check out. So I'm going to stop it. Okay.